Okay, this is just a going to be a quick little update on the mill. As you can see, I'm out here working on it. Uh, a couple things cleaned up the um, the Z axis pretty well. Put some uh, wax on it and was able to get most of the rust out. There's a little little discoloration down here. Uh, I don't know if the camera will really pick it up, but um, I'm. I'm going to hand scrape this, these way, uh, ways at some point, so it'll probably take it out. Uh, what I'm working on right now is the removing the label or the the plaques here, and I just wanted to document how these are attached. If you if you look carefully here, you can see this is a screw, or it's kind of like a rivet almost, and it's got a spiral thread. So as you when you hammer it in. It's kind of a self-tapping affair. So the way that I got this one out, and I've only done one so far, but the way that I got this out was I, I took a very sharp chisel, just, just an extra chisel I have laying around, and I tapped very lightly from each side. So you can see I kind of scraped just the paint off, but that's okay. And so then what that did was as you get the, the edge under, it pops the rivet out or the little spiral thing and then I was able to take uh, just a, a pair of uh, pliers and kind of grab it and pull it out so I don't know if it's the same situation here but I would imagine probably pretty close I'm gonna, if I take these out I'm gonna have to be really careful but um, anyways I did want to show how that came off and then this appears to be uh, an aluminum painted aluminum plaque so anyways that, maybe that'll help somebody someday uh, the only other thing I've done recently is just kind of do a little work on the latch as you can see the inside here is, is pretty clean I've got the little uh, draw bar wrench here and uh, this is the the little latch which I took off the other day and um, it was very dirty but uh, I was able to clean it up. I've still got a little bit of polishing to do, sanding and polishing. What I did was I pulled it off and then I just submerged this part in evaporust for about a day and then took a little wire brush and a few things and cleaned this. And then on the front, which was originally had a satin chrome finish on it, what I did was I just took a metal file and knocked off the finish and then I uh, sanded it and polished a little bit. Like I said, there's still some tool marks in there that I need to, to get out. And then uh, for the mounting hardware, these are just uh, quarter 20 uh, button Allen head screws and stainless. And then I've got a little, uh, I put a little washer and a stainless steel uh, nylon locking nut on the back. And uh, these are, uh, these button head screws are one in, uh, excuse me half an inch in length so and you can see the way that this functions is kind of interesting as you turn it there's kind of there's a threaded piece here and it just moves this little arm down so when you go backwards you can see it moves it out and so what you do is you you unwind it all the way close it and then when you when you turn it it comes over and stops against this and then the the uh, turning it clockwise causes it to pull against the frame here so you can see so anyways that's gonna that's gonna look real nice when everything's done um, and then in here the woods in pretty good shape I was thinking I saw some I talked to somebody else on the internet who replaced this with some white Delrin which looked real nice so I was thinking I might do that uh, here also and then on the bottom I, I may just leave that. I was thinking I might build a little shelf or something, but haven't really decided. So, anyways, I just cleaned up the garage a little bit. And I'm, I moved it over to the other side of the garage here, and uh, like I said, I'm just working on taking off these these name plates. So I want to document that. So, okay, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, just a little follow up here. I was cleaning the surfaces under where the labels were or the plaques were and I just wanted to show you this was a high spot in the casting and um, they had closing had put some 
some kind of glue or something here, I think, to raise it up a little bit. I'm not really sure what the deal was. Anyways, uh, these castings sometimes, um, to get them smooth, they use body filler and Bondo and stuff, which I, I wasn't originally aware of, but it's good to know. I talked to one of the guys on the closing or on uh, practicalmachinist.com who has a clothing. He mentioned that he glass beaded uh, the entire, um, you know, the entire machine and, and he said he wished he hadn't done it because it, it opened up so much of the body filler and of course, you know, cut into it. But so this is just an example here where you can see the centerpiece is metal where I, fi I took a file and flushed it down and then you can kind of see it exposed what I think is what kind of body filler, um, you know, to smooth out the casting. So, and you can also see it up here a little bit where I, I cut away, uh, I'm, I'm going to file this down and, and make it a little bit smoother. But when I took the paint off in this rough area of the casting that you can see here at the end of the dovetail, there was quite a bit of body filler that I chipped away. And you can see here where we accidentally hit the edge of the dovetail uh, on the knee coming off. You can see there's body filler that it hit here or primer, I guess, or something kind of to smooth things out. And then over on this side, uh, the paint underneath the, the plaque had actually rippled up. So I took a, a sharp uh, knife, kind of a chisel, and just relieved kind of the, the wrinkly areas. So you can see when you get into restoring one of these, um, there's a lot of fun to be uh, found here on some of these parts. But uh, as, I, as I might have mentioned in previous videos, my plan is to just clean the mill up at this point and uh, not try to do a full restoration where I completely strip it down uh, with paint remover and, um, you know, repaint it. Um, ultimately, I think I will do that. But the plan for now is to just take everything apart, uh, clean the bare metal surfaces, get the mill functioning, you know, address the real heavy rusted areas, and then put it back together, even without paint, you, you know, just use this paint here, and uh, get the mill running and get used to using it. Uh, and then after it's uh, completely, you know, operational again, then I'll see about maybe uh, stripping some of these things down and repainting them a slightly different color with a, a heavy duty paint. Um, anyways, I also wanted to show the, the plaques here. You can see they're aluminum. Um, so I'm, I think I'm probably gonna paint these black and then polish the, the name. And uh, I'm gonna, for the attaching points up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I believe, I'll tap these holes, probably uh, three, uh, excuse me, probably 632, it looks like maybe, or maybe 832, I'm not sure, I'll have to check. And then I'll, I'm gonna use some, some Allen, uh, some button cap uh, Allen head screws. And you can see, kind of come over here, uh, you can see I kind of was playing around a little bit here, and I changed these. Uh, originally, this comes with just a, a slot, an old slot screw like this, straight slot uh, that threads in. I believe that's a 632. Um, and then I just happen to have some uh, stainless steel Allen heads, so I, I kind of like the way that looks. And then on these, uh, on this part of the mill here, the head, um, on uh, these bolts, and also some of the stuff up here. Uh, well, let me flip it over here. But there's uh, several bolts over here which uh, hold the casting together and uh, pinch it together. I believe it's the quill lock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, anyways, I'm switching those over to Allen head cap screws as well. And um, on that center one, I wanted to point out if it's uh, it's listed in the part diagram as one inch long, but if you check, it's actually, uh, when you take it out, it's actually uh, one and three quarters, and that's actually a quarter inch short, so I'm switching over to a two inch. And then you can see I've got this top plate off, and you can see the draw bar here. 
with the uh, 3 8 16 threads. Anyways, I've also ordered some uh, new bearings for the cross slide tables, which I'm going to install. I don't think I'm going to install new bearings in the head just because uh, when, we, when I bought the mill, we checked it. Or I should say that the owner, the previous owner, checked it for me, and it was only out two tenths. So on the uh, on the total indicated run out. So I don't think there's any need to rip the head apart at this point. So that's about it. Um, like I say, I'm just changing some of the some of the bolts over to Allen caps, and uh, I'll probably do the same thing over here. Uh, tap that little hole and, and see how it goes. And like I say, with this, I'm, I'm not sure. I have to check the manual, see if this is threaded. But I was thinking I might be able to take a file or something very delicately, cut a, a slot in here, and then get a little screwdriver and turn and use the uh, threads, if there are threads, on this to get this label off. So. Okay, well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to post them below or questions or anything. Okay, thanks a lot.